look my dear nerds i have re-recorded this video so many times that it's not even funny because each and every time it appeared like i would brainlessly overhype or overpraise the new gamesr g8 that i'm about to show you and quite frankly i can't change this i kind of made peace with this idea because it's so good and i like it so flipping much that this is what this video is gonna be it's gonna be i know 20 minutes or 10 minutes of me just being a seal and clapping at this thing because from my point of view this is the best controller on the flipping planet and no i am not overhyping this you see my dear nerds i was and still am a big fan of the original games of g8 galileo this controller right here i made a video about it a few months back if you haven't seen it watch it i loved making that video there's a lot of passion there so watch that and then come back here but in 2024, Gamesr improved upon that model immensely, and they released this bad boy. This one right here, this beautiful mother flipper. This is everything that I ever wanted in a controller, and I'm here to make the case that I think when it comes to controller tech, we reached a home flipping run. Look at this thing, just take it in for a few seconds. Have you ever seen something more beautiful than this? Look at this beautiful black slash gray color. Look how beautiful it looks when we couple it with a device. This right here, my dear nerds, this is peak Android emulation hardware. There is nothing on this planet that can give us a better experience than this. But before I go on a tangent and on a rant with this, let me tell you what this controller actually does. How is it different than the Gamesr G8 Galileo and why I think any one of you, any one of you should get it. I am vouching for this controller, okay? I am literally saying, I love that thing. I love it so much that I'm, that I'm willing to stand by it. And I truly think that purchasing this might be the best way in which we spend our money on, you know, brainless gadgets in the retro emulation space. So before i start let me give you a quick refresher about the original games rg8 which i don't have currently because i sold that one to buy this one you know the channel is small what can i do i need to do the device hustle but basically the games rg8 was the most unapologetically medium to big size handheld out there which never tried to be small the games rg8 galileo was always proudly showing off the fact that it's sturdy and big. Along with weight comes great comfort. It was the, not one of the, but the best feeling controllers out there. It was peak ergonomics. To this day, there's nothing better to buy if you want USB-C. That's the go-to. Currently, on our whole flipping meat bag world, these are the best controllers that we can get. But there's quite a few differences between them. You see, my dear beautiful nerd, as that one was USB-C, this one is Bluetooth, and both of them bring some benefits. The USB-C, of course, brings lack of anxiety because you don't have another device with a battery. It brings very low latency, but you cannot use it unless your phone or tablet or, well, just phone with the G8K Leo was hooked up to it. One of my problems was that I have, in my use case, instances where I want to use the controller detached from the tablet or phone or whatever I'm pairing it with. I have USB-C docks scattered all around the house. Wherever I have a screen, I have a you know USB-C dock. And I like to just dock my device, whichever device that may be, and just continue playing on the big screen. This controller, because it's Bluetooth, allows me to both keep my tablet, in my case it's a tablet, it can be a, any phone with video out, to keep it there in the dock while I sit back on the flipping couch just enjoying my life, having this controller in the hand and just, you know, uh, rocking to some Legacy of Kane Defiance or Soul River 2 or Blood Omen 2. All of these are games that you should play by the way. The battery in this is absolutely immense. This has a total battery capacity of a thousand milliamps, but don't be fooled like I was initially. They didn't put one big flipping battery in this, they actually split the battery in two. So we have two 500 milliamp batteries. 
on each side of the controller. And from what I understand, they did this to basically distribute the weight so it wouldn't feel, you know, left heavy or right heavy. And I for one don't know of a controller out there with such a big flipping battery. Because there is none. 1000 milliamps is immense for wireless controllers. But yeah, in case you're out of the loop with GameSir or any GameSir G8 variant, I might as well give, you know, a very quick rundown. We have Hall Effect sticks, Hall Effect triggers, all of that good stuff. The thing that makes this different, in my opinion, is that it's a direct iteration of the other one. The other one allowed you to take the face plates off and you could basically change the sticks to different kinds of sticks, which was cool and all, but this variant, the Games or G8 Plus, takes it to a whole other level because now you can also take out the A, B, X, Y buttons and you can, you know, screw around with them, you can change them in however way you want, you can be chaotic with it, you can scare your friends, you know, by embracing the chaos of the possibilities that lie ahead. Or you can, you know, more likely put the Nintendo Switch layout here because the Nintendo Switch also uses A, B, X, Y, just in a slightly different configuration. But the thing about this controller, and this applied to the original G8 as well, is that the ergonomics feel absolutely flipping amazing. Look, I have a normal Xbox controller here. The GameSir G8 Galileo and the... and the Bluetooth version is directly inspired from the Xbox One, and we can see that it isn't a secret that the game Sir G8 has been ripping off the Xbox controller, and the awesome addition here is that it's telescopic. But somehow, and I can't explain this, the game Sir G8 Plus, and well, actually, just the Plus feels even higher quality than the thing that it imitates. It feels way better in the hand than a normal Xbox controller. And you would think this is nonsensical because the GameSir G8 is wide. It's way wider than something that is not telescopic like this. And I can't explain it. Maybe, you know, there's some advanced mental sorcery here. Maybe they hired the descendants of Freud to learn how to hijack our brains and our pleasure centers. I don't know how they did it, but it feels better in the hand. This thing feels like the best quality controller that I ever held in my hand ever. I know just how much I'm kissing, you know, the behind of this controller. And that's why I redid this video so many times. Those were even more intense, but there's nothing I can do. I am at the mercy of this flipping controller. I can pretend to hate it, I can invent negative things, but why the heck would I do that? If it's good, I'm gonna say it's good. Ah, you know, it's exhausting making reviews where I know I'm gonna appear more or less like a cheerleader, but sometimes you just have to cheerlead, you know? Sometimes you have to put on the pom-poms in your head, head, <laughs> in your hand, and proudly go, this is the best. I have no shame. And I hope I made it obvious that you don't have to worry about the quality of this thing. The sticks are immensely precise. So are the triggers. Have some B-roll if you don't believe me. Again, this is the end game. There's no better controller than this. I would highly advise you to copy my setup over there. Buy an 8-inch tablet. It can work with the iPad mini, if you have one of those lying around. It can work with the Y700 2023, like I highlighted in this video. One of the main benefits is that being Bluetooth, it has connection modes. Previously, the original G8 couldn't do this, but now you can spoof basically any controller. The G8 Plus has no problems pretending that it's an Xbox controller, a pair of Nintendo Switch Joy-Cons, an Android D input controller, it doesn't care. You get to use it, you know, however you please, and you live your best life. What else can I say that hasn't been said? You know, it's crazy to me. It's absolutely crazy that we have this right now. I always think that if we have a perfect device in whatever market, 
then that's the end game. That's where the market ends because everybody has a very, very good point of reference, a very good device that makes them not buy other devices. And I think GameSir accidentally released this mother flipper. When I had the original G8 Galileo, I secretly, well not secretly, I actually said this in this video, I wanted it to be black. I hated that SNES, you know, retro style look. That look is good, but when it comes to expensive devices, I wanted them to be elegant. I wanted them to be clean. And in my subjective opinion, there's nothing cleaner looking than black devices. They simply have a whole other layer of elegance to them. So yeah, I don't know what else to say, you know? It has everything that the other games are Jade had. It has two of these mappable buttons. It has everything really. The only thing, ah, I almost forgot. There is one thing that this doesn't have, which the other games are G8, you know, the USB-C version has, and that is an audio jack. This one being Bluetooth, it can't, well, really take the audio input and pass it through. The USB-C version could do this. This one, unfortunately, can't. It only has one USB-C for charging, and that's basically it. I know a lot of my nerds, they love their, you know, audio jacks. I don't think I'm one of them anymore. I think I kind of got over it. We have very cheap wireless earbuds nowadays. They're actually way cheaper than a decent pair of headphones. And even if somebody actually wants physical headphones, we can always use a USB-C to 3.5 millimeter audio jack adapter. That's always in the realm of possibility. I know this review is scattered all over the place, but quite frankly, I don't care. I wanted to make you aware of, well, this flipping thing to excite you, because you should know how awesome this is. You should know that this should be in your scope for big devices, like, well, not big devices, but for medium-sized devices like a Nintendo Switch or an 8-inch tablet, you really don't have any other alternative. This is God tier. This is what will make you finally happy and will make you stop buying controllers. Granted, for phones, I actually prefer way more portable ones because this one is a real chungus of a controller. But we can't have it all now, can we? If we could, we would, you know, not have to pay rent and we would be happy and not dead on the inside. But unfortunately, life is not a fairy tale. If we want comfort, we need to get something big and something that fits perfectly in the hand. That's low hanging fruit, I'm not even gonna make that joke. I'm actually very curious to find out what you beautiful nerds think of this, well, beauty. If you're not interested in it, then you should totally be. That latency from Bluetooth to USB-C, I don't think is big enough, you know, to, to warrant not getting this thing. But anyway, my dear nerds, you know, I forgot to tell you to subscribe. You should really subscribe. Vlad Nerd is not just me. Let's get one thing straight. I do not view Vlad Nerd as me being the Vlad Nerd. We are a community. We are a group of like-minded, awesome, flipping beautiful people. That's why I always call you my nerds. Because you are my nerds and I am your nerd. So you, the individual nerd that watches this, do me the solid and subscribe. I want to see this channel grow and quite frankly, each subscription just encourages me to push forward with new videos. And last but not least, if you want to support me a bit more directly, feel free to become either a channel member or a Patreon. It doesn't really matter which one you choose because irregardless of your choice, you will end up on my wall of fame, which I feature in each and every video. And everyone will know that out of, you know, all the people watching me, you are one of the awesome nerds out there that took the initiative to prop me up at the beginning and to help me directly. And I appreciate that immensely. Also, if you're a Discord person, I also have a Discord. You can find it in my video description. But outside of this, I think this is the most preachy, the most positive video I ever did. And I don't feel sorry. 
Well, sorry, not sorry in this case. You have to trust me on this. I wouldn't play the cheerleader role for any kind of device unless I truly felt like this. Huh. Actually, before I finish this video, I just remembered a third bad thing about it. And that is that it's quite heavy. And I don't mean heavy, heavy. It's like 312 grams, which will either make you feel like it's quality. I talked about how weight makes something feel more quality in my previous Mio A30 video. I don't really subscribe to that mentality, but because this one is heavier, you know, from the batteries and the vibration motors and all of that, it feels as if, you know, it's something that Samsung would have released, if that helps you with anything. <laughs> but yeah, if you're expecting a very light controller, then this ain't it. But again, this is just a small drop in the bucket compared to the quality of this thing. But yeah, I have to basically end this video and, you know, cool down a bit and shut up because I feel like I overly praised this thing and GameSir isn't giving me any money. GameSir, give me money. Uh, I think I deserve some bribes, as I said earlier. But yeah, nobody's giving me any money. It's just how I feel about this thing. It's just a stupid passion behind some gadgets which hit just right with me. But in any case, my dear nerds, I am all tired out. Like I said, I did so many takes of this. I just want to curl up in a ball and not move for 48 hours to be like some sort of... What are those animals that curl up in a ball? Those scaly, cute things. I want to say cantaloupe, no? Until oh, flipping hell, my non-native brain is like indexing the whole freaking alphabet now. Armadillos. <laughs> I had to pause it, but armadillos, you know, I want to curl up like an armadillo for 48 hours. But in any case, my dear nerds, see you next time. And don't forget, I always loved you. I always will. Probably not more than your pet. If you do have a pet, give it some love, okay? Doesn't matter if it's a dog, a cat, a tarantula, a python. Well, if it's a python, don't hug it, okay? Don't let it give you a 360 degree hug, you know, pythons, they kind of might seize the opportunity. But yeah, I love you, okay? There's your pets and then there's me. So until the next video, my dear nerds, bye.